Hey everybody, it's Jamie. Today's video we're going to be learning how to make some pin cushions that look like cherry pies. They don't necessarily have to be cherry, but they can be if you want, so let's get started. I mainly chose cherry because I'm in a very Gryffindor kind of mood, so that's why I chose burgundy. You can literally choose any color that you want. So first things first, supplies, you're going to need at least two pieces of brown crust color and one piece of pie filling in order to make both pin cushions. You could just get one of each if you only plan to use one pin cushion. Also you're going to need a nice sharp pair of scissors and a sharpie. Don't use this thin sharpie like I'm showing, use a thicker sharpie. Thin sharpies don't really write on felt very well. And you're going to need a sewing machine. You can sew by hand if you like, but I'm using a sewing machine. So first things first, we're going to take our filling color and we're going to take our little tin that we're going to set our pie in. Mine is a spare mason jar lid and you're basically going to trace a small circle right around the mason jar lid at about an inch seam allowance and then cut that circle out. Next we're going to copy that circle twice into the crust color. One will be our top crust and one will be the bottom crust. In one of the crusts we are going to cut, we're going to take our lid and cut the center out in that size. That's going to be our opening where you're going to see our ch cherry filling because I am doing a lattice top cherry pie. And you're going to want to get this inner circle as nice as possible because you are going to see the cut. Next we're going to sandwich our two crust pieces together, right sides together, and our filling. And we're going to go ahead and measure our width for our crust. This will vary depending on what kind of tin you're going to put it in. I think mine were about a couple inches long. These are going to become our lattice pieces. And you're going to, I went with six. You can go with less or more. You can do an odd number on one side and even on the other. Completely up to you. And you, again, you're going to want to cut these as nice as possible because these are definitely, you're going to see, there's not going to be any sewing necessarily with these. It's just going to be the cut pieces sewn on. So no, fin these are the finished edges. So once you cut all of those out, you're going to kind of want to figure your pattern out, how far you want the space. Um, mine do weave in and out of each other like a true lattice pie eventually, but this is just me laying them out. I'm going to mark the starting points of each of them and then sew them on. We're only sewing the starting points as of right now because we do want to weave them back and forth but I want to make sure I sew them in the right place first. And then you can go ahead and sew them on very carefully, very slowly. Take your time because they will move. And once you get one side of each of the pieces down, I'm also doing a my seam as nice as possible because again, you're going to see that seam and that seam will come into play a little bit later. But you're going to want to make it nice because you are going to see it. But once you tack down one side of each of the little lattice pieces, you can go ahead and weave them through and then sew down the rest of the sides. Also make sure to have the bad sides or the wrong sides, basically the sides with the sharpie facing up right now because they will eventually face down. I didn't do that with all of mine so you will see a bit of sharpie. And once that is all done you have something that looks a little bit like this. It's starting to look like a pie. Next you're going to sandwich all of your circles together. Again, the crust right side together and the maroon on top. And then you're going to want to do a nice straight stitch all the way around. Make sure there's no holes or anything of the sort. And then you're going to want to cut off any of the excess felt because you want the minimal amount of bulk. On the bottom crust, you're going to make a cut right in the middle. That is going to be the spot where we're going to turn it inside out. You do that and it looks a little bit like a beret, but we're going to fix that with a top stitch. So we're top stitching over that seam that we used to attach our lattice pieces and it's going to make it look more like a pie with a nice wavy crust. Look at that, looking like a pie. Next for the filling of the pie. I am using a bunch of fabric scraps I had from my dog bandanas. 
Um, you can also use some polyfill. Polyfill will have your um, pins going a little bit easier, but I wanted to kind of be conscious, use up all those fabric scraps, put them in. And then to close up, we're gonna take some embroidery thread and a curved needle. The curved needle is my personal preference, and the embroidery thread just helps close it up a little bit faster. I make mine into a big loop, not one end, sew it all together, and then I'm able to just tie a regular knot at the end instead of trying to do like a slip knot thing in the jig. Basically, when you're done, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look a little bit like Frankenstein, but you're not gonna see this part, to be honest, so it doesn't really matter. But look at that. We got a little pie, you guys. I think Dean would be very happy with our pie sewing skills here. And now we're gonna take our little tin. You can put a dab of hot glue or super glue in there to keep it in the tin. I don't know if I'm gonna keep mine in the tin because it's gonna float around my sewing stuff. But yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. I would make it just a tad bit smaller than the lid than I did, only so it would sit nicer in, but that's just me. And then all you gotta do is put some pins in it, put some needles in it, and you are ready to go with your own miniature pack. For the slice of cherry pie, you're gonna need the same exact materials, except this time, it's going to be a slice, so it's going to be a triangle, so we're going to start out with a triangle. My triangle includes how big I want my slice to be, and about a half an inch seam allowance. You want to make sure you have some seam allowance, because it will give you a little bit get a little give, and it will help you keep in mind that your pie is actually going to be smaller than what you're cutting out. I based my triangle on how wide I wanted it to be, if you want it to be a little bit more of a fat triangle or even a skinnier triangle, that's perfectly up to you. So you're going to go ahead and cut out that first triangle piece. We're going to take the measurement of the side and we're going to cut out two rectangles from our filling piece. Since it is a slice, you will see the filling on the sides and I'm going to make it a lattice top so you can see it on the top. So these two rectangles are going to be the sides. They are smaller than the crust piece because I'm giving about an extra half an inch for the crust to stick above the slice of pie. These two strips are about an inch and a half to an inch, I would say. I don't remember. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut a triangle piece out of the filling. And we're gonna cut some strips for the lattice. I just ended up using the leftover felt from the first pie and just cut the full length of the piece of felt and then we're gonna trim them to fit. I cut four, I ended up only needing three. So we're gonna take our filling piece and we're going to design our lattice. I kind of have mine going at diagonals. Again, you can make it go whatever direction, however many you want. You can even make them a little bit thinner if you wanted to, but I really didn't want them to take up a whole lot of filling because the filling piece is a little bit thinner than the crust pieces, so the pins will go in a little bit easier into the red instead of the brown. So you're going to go ahead and lay them down like this, and then give them a good pin. And then you're going to figure out your other three lattice pieces, and then you're going to run it through the sewing machine. So after you run it through the sewing machine, just cut off any of the excess felt that you have left, and we're going to go ahead and start attaching the side pieces. You're going to want to lay down your side pieces, right sides facing together, put a couple pins in it, and then just run it right through the sewing machine with a straight stitch. Again, make sure that you don't have any gaps or holes in the side. And then you're going to go ahead and do that with the second piece. And then once you get to the crust, you're going to want to measure about half an inch down and make a line. This is where the little half an inch is what's going to be kind of the crust that sticks above the piece of pie, and the rest is going to be the actual back of the pin cushion. So you're going to want to pin it so that that little half an inch is on the right side of the lattice, and that it doesn't accidentally get sewn into the pie instead of on the outside of the pie. And then go ahead and give that a quick straight stitch sew. 
And as you see, it is slowly coming together. We're going to need to attach our bottom crust piece. I started with the sides first, with also sewing up the sides together and to the crust. I found that to be the easiest because I don't mind if the back of my pie is kind of ugly with the close up stitch. So you go ahead and flip your pie around. Again, we're looking like we got a little bit of pie here. And I'm going to go ahead and sew up both of the sides and as much of the back as I can with still having room to flip it around. So as you can see, when you sew up the sides, you kind of have to flip it back in. So now you're going to want to flip it back out. And then we're going to go ahead and fill it with the innards of my old pin cushion. I've had this cactus pin cushion for a while. I also made this and I decided it was time for a new one. So I'm just going to recycle what is inside this and it should be plenty. So once you have it filled, you're going to want to stitch it shut. I end up stitching it the same way I stitched the other pie shut. If you want it to be nicer or neater, you can either A, run it through the sewing machine, or B, figure out how to kind of do the invisible stitch. I personally don't mind that it looks like this because it is a handmade object, and frankly, no Dean wouldn't care what his pie looks like as long as it was actually pie. And for some finishing touches, I'm going to give it just a little bit of a wavy crust. And then you're going to go ahead and stick your pins in it. And that's it. You have a slice of cherry pad pin cushion. Super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all of that. Let me know your thoughts about the new Supernatural season. I'm very excited. At this point in time when this video is coming up, it's probably not out yet or just came out. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts down below and let me know if you recreate these pie cushions because they're so cute. Anyways, I'll see you guys sooner rather than later. So goodbye.